For kids. Owl, and this is actually the red-tailed hawk, and they eat skunks, snakes, and ducks. Then we have the frog right here, which can be eaten by the snake. So you guys understand how it's all webbed together? Yeah, and how? Yep. Yeah. Yes, a little deer mouse, or just a little field mouse, any kind of mouse. Um, yeah, those are all examples of herbivores. Do you have another one? Yeah. Um, what about possums? Possums. So possums are actually another sort of creature, which we can talk about next. What sorts of creatures eat plants and uh, some animals? Yes, what's the term? Aiden. Omnivore. Omnivore. Okay, awesome. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, omnivore. <laughs> um, so omnivores eat plants and also animals. And yes, a possum is a great example of that. So possums, they typically will eat. Smells good. Has everybody spotted it? Okay. It's obviously like a person. Okay, so let's let's take a look at it. Everybody, think about their observations. Collect those observations in their heads. Okay, so raise your hand if you have an observation you'd like to share. Yes. You think it looks like chihuahua? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can see that. So maybe in the dog family? Right in something about the color? It's like a reddish brown. No, it's like a reddish brown. So yeah, I would say reddish brown. That's a really great way of describing it. It looks like that. Yeah, because you know, brown. There are a lot of things that could be brown. You want it's to be a true. little more reduce specific. And produce. Maroon. Maroon. I just put red Small maroon brown. scat. Small Great. Being very specific. 